k is called spring constant and its value depends upon the material of the spring k is called the spring constant and its value depends upon the material of the spring upon its diameter thickness of the wire with which this spring is made etc so these are the things so the spring constant k is defined as the force per unit extension it is the force which must be applied to a spring to cause an extension of 1 meter if a force of 1 force f produced an extension x then k is equal to f over x if you are going to find out the spring constant k then k is equal to f over x now we are going to find out the value of the spring constant with the help of this experiment this spring is called the helical spring we are going to use this helical spring with the help of this helical spring we are going to conduct this experiment we are going to find out we are going to find out the spring constant of this spring this type of spring is already here and here is the hanger with which i am going to suspend the rest of the masses or weights okay which i have this slotted weight this is called helical spring i have adjusted this with the stand stand must be vertical first of all you must know the precautions the main precaution is this the stand must be vertical you will have to see it with the help of the split level that this stand must be standing vertical and these two things the helical spring and this stand bar must be parallel to each other it is also very important to understand that this spring and these two things must be parallel and you will have to take care of it that they must remain parallel after keeping their care of it you can conduct your experiment okay is that clear here you can see that uh, uh, I have started this, the reading on the, on this ruler. I am starting it from 1 centimeter. I am not starting it from 0. I am starting it from 1 centimeter. So you pointer it at the mark of 1 centimeter. Observe it carefully. So for each extension, now I will find out that for each extension, whatever the extension will be for each extension i will have to subtract 1 cm i am conducting this experiment to find out the spring constant which is represented by k and this is the formula for k k is equal to f over x now i am going to use this apparatus this apparatus is consisting of this metal stand and this spring this spring is called helical spring this type of spring spring is being hanging here and with that spring, I am hanging a hanger like this. This hanger has a pointer which is pointing at 1 centimeter. Which is pointing at 1 centimeter. So initially because I am starting it from 1 centimeter. And when I will suspend the next weight in it. Then the reading will come. The extension will come. Then I will have to subtract that extension, that 1 centimeter from that extension okay you can start it from two or three or four centimeter whatever so i am going to start it from one centimeter so my initial initial position of this needle or or this pointer is one centimeter it means whatever the reading will come in the uh, on this ruler you will have to subtract one centimeter from that reading is it okay okay because that one centimeter is already here clear now what i am going to do I am going to suspend this 50 grams mass. So you will have to observe it that what is the reading on this pointer, on this ruler. Well, what is the reading if somebody can read this? Very, uh, very important thing, there must not be a parallax error. You will have to see it from, your, from the front. You are not going to see it from the lower position or upper position. You must try to see it from your eye level. So the reading here is 4.4. I told you from that 4.4 you will have to subtract 4.4 minus 1 is equal to 3.4. So here I suspended the mass of 50 grams. The mass is given in grams and the extension. This is the extension. So I got the extension of 3.4 centimeter because I started it from 1 centimeter. That's why I'm subtracting that 1 centimeter. Now, I'm going to suspend another mass of 50 grams. Another mass of the 50 grams is being suspended here. Now, the next reading. Well, now what is the total mass here? 100. What is the reading? 7.9? 
Okay, so what should I do? Yes, 7.9 minus 1 because I started it from 1 centimeter. So it will be 6.9. So extension is basically 6.9. Yeah, what is that? Extension is 6.9. Here I am uh, writing extension. So this is 6.9. Now I am loading it with next mass of 50 gram. For each 50 gram, you will have to observe it. The extension in this ring. I told you according to Hooke's law that extension is directly proportional to the force applied. These masses which I am uh, putting here in the hanger, they are basically exerting a weight, weight force, load downward. So what is the next reading? Let me see. I am observing it. The next reading is 11.6. Uh, 11.6. From 11.6, I am subtracting. So it is 10.6. 150 grams and this is 10.6. Okay. This is the third, now the fourth. The fourth weight is 50 grams. I am going to suspend it with it. Now the next reading, it must stop moving. When, when it will stop moving, then you will have to observe it. It is uh, for 15.1 uh, millimeter, almost 15.1 millimeter. 14. Yes, 15.1 minus 1 is equal to 14.1. Yes, 200 grams and it is 14.1 centimeter. Okay, these are the extensions basically. So I have calculated, I have measured the extensions with the help of these loads. This is loading. This is called loading. I have loaded these masses in the hanger. Now I am unloading the hanger. Now I am going to unload the hanger. For this 200, unloading is the same because I have not unloaded the first. So this reading will remain the same. 14.1 remain, remain the same. It, is, it can be seen. Now what difference will occur? Let's see. First of all, I am unloading the first 50 gram mass and then I will observe that what the difference created. So here I can see that it is 11.9. It is now 11.9. With the, with the subtraction of 150 gram, I am finding out 11.9. Kitna hona 11.9 minus 1 is equal to 10.9. When I was loading this, the reading was 10.6. While unloading, the reading is 10.9. The difference is created. Now, again, I have subtracted one more mass. Let it be standstill. This is the precaution for the experiment. You will have to observe these precautions. So it is now 8.2. It is 8.2. It Yes, 8.2 minus 1 is equal to 7.2. So here, 7.2 centimeter. Now next, oh, I have to unload it. Okay. Now we have the mass of 50 grams in it. So it is showing 4.8. Almost it is 4.8. Uh, yes. 4.8 minus 1 is 3.8. Now let us see, let us see while removing the last mass whether it is coming to its 1 centimeter mark or not. Because initially it started from 1 centimeter. No? So now we will see that what is this coming to its 1 centimeter position or not. Removing this last one, we have to observe it that if it is coming. Uh, okay, it is 1.1. Now the initial position of this is initial position is 1.1 centimeter. Previously it was 1 centimeter. But now when I remove the masses from the hanger, I remove the, all, all the masses from the hanger, I have got to know that it is slightly below that, 1 millimeter below that. Okay. So, here, what we have to do now? We have to take the average of these values because loading and unloading. Now, take your calculators and find out the diff average of each two values. So, these are basically extension, x for extension, average of all the extensions, 3.4 plus 3.8 divided by 2. You can use calculator, please. You can find out the spring constant by applying 
the value of f and x. How we are going to find out f? G. You know that these masses are given in grams. First of all, we have to convert the mass into kilogram. You know that 100 grams, you remember this, 100 gram is 1 newton. 100 gram, 1 newton. Because, because 1000 gram make 10 newton. Huh? You know that uh, 10 newton or normally we take 9.8 newton per kg. We take 9. newton per kg. But here for the sake of simple calculations, I am not using 9.8, I am using this 10 newton per kg. You know that uh, the uh, gravitational field strength is 10 newton per kg. Here I am telling you that we also take 9.8 newton per kg. But here for the sake of make your calculation easier, I am taking it. 10 newton per kg. According to 10 newton per kg, the 100 gram is representing 1 newton. 100 grams is equal to 1 newton. So, 50 grams are showing how much, how many newton? Yes, 0 0.5. So, it is 0 0.5 newton, the load in newton. It is 1 newton, it is 1.5 newton and it is 2 newton. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Now you can plot the graph between load and extension. Yes. 